My focus Betray Makino! Oh my god. More control. So... Dryad Groovekeeper... Maybe. Uh, we don't need two dwarves. Dryad Ranger. I think we gotta keep the ranger here. Take that for sure. And maybe like this. Life is fleeting, yet life is eternal. Igor is one of the better spenders in the game. As long as you uh, play with the townsfolk. Or, I don't know, the. The fire folk guys, or I don't know. I don't know how they're called. Hmm. So can I just kill that. Leave while you still stand. Double poison it. Not like it really matters. <laughs> Also, lock is pretty much useless here, because sometimes I lock stuff against the uh, Nilfgaard and what we run into is Purify. Purify gets rid of lock. So... That's just really sad. Your next move shall be your last! The game is just about, hey, you know what we should have? Just resurrect, you know? I'm all for all this damage, but there should be a card like, hey, just resurrect stuff. <laughs> Maybe, why is that another thing? Resurrect is so premium, but I think it should be just super common. Ex well, I, I guess it's not really a uh, part of the lore. No. Is resurrect a thing in The Witcher? Not really. And what faction should have it? Skellige used to have it. Skellige used to have a lot of resurrects, but uh, when I'm done with you, you shall I guess that's not a thing anymore. Guys, why is resurrect not a thing? And should it be? Oh crap! I guess we're gonna push a little bit here. Um, sure. This is not great, not unless we have uh, at least two dryads on the board. But I don't know. Okay, 17 points. I want to resurrect the special card so I can do it twice with Francesca. Ooh. Whoa, really? That's quite punishing. He just waited all this long to punish me super hard. Oh, that's not the best. Yes. What is it? We can just pass now. Really? He was holding on to a Benenda Elite all along? He's saving it politely around. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, it seems like Dijkstra and Ardals are, are kind of challenging. They seem to be the meta choices. Mm, 
need something to use here, round two. Uh, we can kick this. Alright, let's go with this. Just gonna play the panther. I like it. Oh snap, really? We have no choice. We have to do fall off here. The card advantage. Assassination. Let's do Saskia while we can. We have to copy him and do the same. We have to use our hero power as well. Wait, what? I kneel before no one. The hell? Sask Whoa, what? Why? Why that? Why that? Makes no sense. Well, this is a nine. You just panther for. Oh, that's a square tile unit. Never mind that. Okay. But I'm holding a 9 and a 10. Are you playing anti-meta? Well, I'm definitely surprising the meta with what I'm playing. Is this anti-meta? I don't know. So we intend to play a Great Oak and... We end up playing the melee as well. So, just let's just go all melee. Why are people still trying to bleed you? Well, not like they are talking to each other between the games. Puzzle. But they kind of lose a card. I think they, what they expect is that they fight against me round two. And they don't lose a card. But they always lose a card. So, GG. Usurper. That's a lot of dryads. Maybe we don't want so many dryads. A lot of dryads. Well, technically the dryad groovekeeper is uh, a 7 if we play it with them, but yeah. We might just keep this. The Dryad Ranger combo is okay. Mm, well, like, I'm, I'm saving it for anything special, but, like... <clears throat> Fran seems good at resisting the bleed. Maybe the deck is built like that. Well, we have a pretty good finisher, as, <coughs> and I, as I like to call it. It's not really a finisher at this point. Uh, it, it just becomes the anti-bleed round two. Uh, that's what we got. We just have to play our finisher round two. And we have to kind of win uh, round three without our finisher. But maybe it's good enough. Swords I smile at. Weapons laugh to scorn. Relic. He's not even playing anything on the board, just killing what I've got. Alright. Huh? 
Now we have to make a decision. Do we try to fight for round one, or do we just not care? If we fight for round one, we have uh, two choices. Either we go Dryad, Dryad, Milan, or we go Milan, kill this right away, then uh, Dryad, Dryad. Actually, that's kind of slow. So maybe it's it might be even better just go Milan. Some things cannot be forgiven. Then we're gonna be at 12, and he needs to do 12 in two cards, kind of. Because if he d does it in three cards, of course, that's still fine. But and at that point, we're doing a long ground three. Wait, what did he do? I'm fine with that. If he has to go down to four cards to win round one, that means long ground three is guaranteed. I don't care if I go first or second round three. I don't care. At all. Order will triumph. It must triumph. One thing I care about is uh, maybe trying to have a either a card, well, round three with a card advantage. And he went down to four. Or uh, a long round three. Usually we have the edge. Now he can't push me, so. I'm fine with that. Uh, double Dryad Ranger looks pretty interesting, but also keep in mind that we're gonna have a lot of Dryads. I don't care too much about that. This is perfect, because we get, need the human tag for next turn. I'm just trying to uh, pick all the tags for next turn. And of course, uh, Mulliganing Water of Broccolon is a no-brainer. But if we Mulligan it next turn, then... No, I'm not just putting it now. If he tries to push me, that's gonna be extremely silly. Looks like Didi. Gonna push. Uh, he's gonna. <clears throat> I mean, not push. He's gonna pass. Uh, that's the only choice. Or is it? I used to have Gabor in there, uh, Gabor Resilient played at this round, it's pretty good, but uh, it's not as good as it seems, I think, because many times, well, of course it's like a 9 cost card, it, it's definitely a, a good choice to consider, but uh, sometimes I just dropped the Dryads la last round and uh, I already have a Dwarf on the board, so they are not gonna trigger uh, by the Dwarf tag, so... Technically, I have an extra dwarf, but the dryads don't trigger anymore because of the dwarf tag. So it's not as good. Uh, so we can play this, and we can play this as well. We already have the dwarf tag, and I'm not sure if I'm feel comfortable giving it up. I think this is just what we're gonna go with. We can play these two and. Uh, Something I just don't care about. It's cool. <laughs> of course, usually if you wanna go uh, quad dryad, but that's not gonna happen right now against the usurper. <laughs> it works extremely well against. Maybe with the exception of Evolt uh, in Syndicate, who can kill even up to five Dryads if we have that, which is just stupid. Uh, Uh, we have basically two plays now. Either we play uh, Alvin Swordmaster in the front, just to bait with. But I think we already have like a, a value generator here. Or we just play Saskia for max value. And because we played in the middle, it's gonna be 
somewhat unlikely that he just kills it right away. Yeah, of course, luck is annoying. Uh, we can just go and play the ranger. Just to get the harmony bonus. Of course, I want the great oak in the last row. Play the tree on board. I'm more concerned about the damage, so if he can stop that, that's what I'm gonna go for. No DD if muzzle. Beast or man makes no difference to me. The hell. Everyone has so much damage. I would love to kill that. And we can't kill that. The only advantage of them killing everything that I ever play, and the dryads getting bigger, is that the tags, that, you know, I had a tree and boar, but it died, so I, I re-trigger the tree and tag. It's a, it's a new tree and, like, these dryads never seen a tree and before. So in a way, this kind of makes sense in a removal heavy meta, as long as the dryads stay alive, which is... Uh, quite the feat, but still, it makes sense. Tactics Usurper. It just looks like every single other Usurper. At least that I ran into so far. Uh, I'm gonna play my Dwarf too. How many counters removal? I wouldn't say counters, but uh, benefits from. Killing my elf, we might have to uh, commit to the Barnabas play next turn. But of course, we're gonna decide. Unfortunately, I'm five points ahead and uh, one card down here. So, there's like a good chance we're gonna lose. Of course, we're gonna have two more triggers, and of course, we have a, a good card with Barnabas and uh, it's weak. So we can't kill this anymore. So might as well go for Barnabas. Uh, what? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I'm on it. Okay, fifteen point lead. Uh, this is gonna be an eight, and this is gonna be plus one. Well, it's not exactly hopeless. Uh, that's actually a sick card. If it can lock all the dried fledglings. Um, maybe he has a slave tree. Not like that would win. The common folk. I care for them. And that's a win. Well done, usurper. A very bland game, like always, with a copy-paste deck. Well played.